everyone! So today's video is going to be a Primark haul. I went to Primark a few days ago and I picked up a fair few bits so I thought I would share them with you. So I noticed Primark has started to bring out its spring collection which is really exciting because I'm so ready for spring and summer now. I've had enough of winter, I've just had enough of it always being so dark and dull outside and I just want it to be brighter and yeah, so I decided to go and get some clothes ready for spring because I've noticed my wardrobe has become very dark. Over the winter I brought mostly dark clothes like black, dark grey, dark blue which has kind of made my wardrobe look a bit meh. So I decided to go into Primark and pick up some clothes ready for spring, some things that are a little bit lighter coloured and not all black so that I could cheer up my wardrobe a little bit because wardrobes have feelings too guys. It's true. I'm also going to do this as a Primark try-on haul because I find try-on hauls really helpful so you can see what the clothes look like on someone's body because that's how you're going to be wearing them. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to try and make every single haul that I do into a try-on haul because I just really prefer those kinds of hauls and I want to be more helpful to you guys. So yeah, if you like those kind of hauls then I will do lots of them when I buy clothes which is probably more often than I should buy clothes but yeah. So as always, I came out of Primark with a big bag. It doesn't even fit in my camera screen, but yes, I'm gonna show you what I got. So the first thing I picked up was this really cute little top, and it just looks like this. It's in this really sheer fabric, and it's got these little white flowers on them, which I think is very spring appropriate, and it's got a really cute little collar, and a little tie to make let me just make the bow. Let me make it look a little more presentable. So yeah, I think this would look really cute tucked into maybe some high-waisted jeans or you could wear it not tucked in. I think it would look great either way and I just think it's really cute. You'd probably need to wear a top underneath it but I find a lot of the Primark tops are like that. You need to wear a top underneath but there's nothing wrong with that. This was only £6 which as always, bargain from Primark, so yeah, I got that. So the next thing I picked up was a long sleeve top, but this is quite a thin material, so again, I thought it would be good for when it gets a little bit warmer, but it's not too warm that you want to show your arms, so yeah, it's in this really nice thin material, very lightweight, and it's got a little collar on the top again, just like the other one, but this one has a tie at the back instead of the front, but I just think it's really cute. It's in this kind of bluey, grey, whitey colour. If that's a colour, I don't know. So it's got three quarter length sleeves and it's a top. I don't know what else to say about it really. How much was it? This one was £8. Next thing I picked up was a cardigan and this is quite a thick cardigan so it's probably not overly spring appropriate but in saying that in the UK it's probably very spring appropriate because it's not actually going to be very warm and I tend to layer stuff a lot in the spring so I thought this would be really handy and it's a really light coloured cardigan. All of my card is quite dark but this one is this kind of white and blacky grey woven kind of print. I'm really bad at explaining things, wow. So it just looks like this and it's quite a long cardigan. I don't normally get long cardigans but I thought I would try one and it actually suits me quite well which I was quite surprised. It's got these pockets at the bottom and yeah it has some buttons does it? Nope, I lied, it hasn't got any buttons so I lied. But yeah, this is so super soft and I actually have a Primark jumper in this exact material and I love that jumper so I just thought I'd get this cardigan version of it as well. And this was only £12 which I think is quite good for a very thick, chunky cardigan that I will definitely get a lot of wear out of. So the next thing I got I've actually seen on so many YouTubers Primark hauls recently, it's literally becoming like the famous Primark top. Not really. But I saw it in my local Primark and I had to pick it up and it looks like this. So it's just this little white vest and it's got this scalloped edges along the bottom and along the top and it's got these little flowers cut out all along the edges which I think adds a really nice touch. It's in a really sort of thin, comfy, lightweight fabric. It fits me really nicely as well so I'm really happy with that and they also had a black one in case you would rather have a black one and this top was only £5 so obviously very affordable and I think it's very pretty. So I also got a couple of tops that I probably won't wear out, I'll probably just wear them as pyjama tops but they are so cute I couldn't not get them and the first one looks like this. <laughs> so it's just this grey t-shirt with these rolled up sleeves and it's got the monkey emojis on it which I think is so super cute. I love the emojis and 
the monkey ones are very cute, aren't they? It's quite a long t-shirt. I got the smallest size and this one is very long. So that's why I don't think I'd wear it out because I prefer kind of cropped style clothes. But I'll definitely be able to wear it as a pajama top and I think it's so cute. What are they even doing? <laughs> I just think this is really cute and it was only six pounds so you can't really go wrong with that and yes monkeys ooh, 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 ah, 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 ah. and I didn't stop there I saw another emoji top and I think I like this one even more it is so cool but definitely will not be worn outside of the house because it's a little bit in your face definitely wish I did have the guts to wear this out though because I would look very cool and very emoji-fied if that's a word I've made it a word now emoji-fied yeah. So I picked up this little top here and it has so many different emojis on it. You probably can't see them all right now, but I absolutely love this. And again, I'm going to wear it as a pyjama top because it's not the most flattering t-shirt on me, but it will be perfect for sleeping in. So I decided to go up a few sizes in this so that it was extra comfy and baggy to wear to bed. And they also only had a size 12 anyway, so that's probably the reason why I got a size 12 because it's the only one they had. But I just think this is so super cute and I just love all the little emojis. They're so cute and it's really comfy actually. It's quite a soft material and I can't wait to wear it to bed. And this one was six pounds as well. I wanna know what my most used emoji is at the moment. Um, my most used emoji is the love heart. How lovely. And, oh, that's really great, isn't it? So I've got the love heart, which is great, you know, sharing the love. And then I've got the tears streaming down your face crying emoji. Crying emoji with one single teardrop. The sleepy emoji with the Zs. So that pretty much sums me up, doesn't it? I need to sort my life out there, don't I? <laughs> I need to use the smiley ones more. I need to use this guy. Look at him. Wow. So now I've got a few accessories and random bits and then the last thing I'm going to show you is a pair of shoes. So yeah, I will do that now. Next thing's not very exciting but I got some extra thick over the knee socks because I love wearing over the knee socks with outfits. I think they look really cool but my ones are quite thin so I don't tend to really wear them because I just get too cold. So I thought I would try some really thick ones and these definitely do feel a lot warmer than the ones I have. So I picked up them and they are only £2.50 so yes, I decided to get them. I also I got this really cute little hairband. I've decided I want to make my hair look more interesting because I always just wear it down like this the same all the time. So I thought I'd try getting some like cute hair accessories and I thought this one was really cute and perfect for spring because it's this white pattern with this kind of floral lacy effect on it and I'm gonna try and pop it in my hair and see if it makes me look cute and mmm so noisy. So yeah, this was only £1.50, so I'm gonna see if I can make it look nice on me. It probably won't suit me, but I'm gonna give it a go. And I also got these little hairbands as well. One of them is in the same material as the previous one, and it also comes with this blue floral print as well. And I thought these would be really sweet to wear if you've got your hair in a ponytail or in a bun, and they just look a bit more interesting than a normal hairband. And yeah, I just think they're really sweet, and they were only £1.50 as well. I also got a pink hand sanitizer because because gotta do that hand hygiene. <laughs> what? This was only 60p, so you know, I just picked it up because I don't have one at the moment in my handbag, so yeah, and it's pink. Can't really go wrong with that. I wonder if it smells nice. Oh, it actually does smell nice. Mmm, yeah. So, hand sanitizer, not very exciting. I also picked up a new purse ready for spring because I have a new bag ready for spring. I haven't used it yet because the weather's just been so blur and it's this really pale pastel pink bag so I feel like it's gonna get all wet and dirty and I don't wanna ruin it. So I'm saving it for when the weather gets a little bit better, which it probably won't because this is the UK, let's be real, it's probably gonna stay like this for the rest of the year, but we can hope. But I decided to get a new purse to go with my new bag because it's quite small and the purse I have at the moment doesn't really fit in it. So I decided to get a slightly smaller purse. So I saw this purse and I thought it was really cute. It's very simple, it's just a kind of off-white colour with this little black bow on it and it was only £3 so I just thought I'd pick it up because it would fit in my bag a lot better than my other one. It's nice and square and compact whereas my other purse was whatever that shape is. <laughs> Sausage shape. You get what I mean. I just thought it'd be nice to have a smaller purse to go inside my bag. I also picked up a necklace because I thought it looked really cute and it looks like this. This was only three pounds. It's just this really pretty gold triangle necklace with these kind of, I don't know what color I'd say that is. They're really, really pastel pink nude kind of colored triangles. They kind of look like white chocolate. I kind of want to eat them. 
So yeah, it's a very simple necklace, but I thought it would be very nice for spring because it's quite a pastel neutral coloured necklace. And yeah, like I said, that's only £3, which I think is really good. I love looking at the Primark jewellery. It's always so pretty and yeah. So now on to the last thing I bought and that was a pair of shoes and I absolutely love these shoes. I am so happy with them and they look like this. So I never really look in the Primark shoe section but I decided to have a look and these instantly caught my eye. I absolutely love them. They are so cute and I think they're going to be perfect for when the weather warms up a bit because I love my black chunky heeled boots that I wear a lot. I have quite a few pairs of them and I was thinking when it warms up what am I going to wear? But these are kind of like the same sort of style. They've got the chunky wedge at the front and then a chunky heel and they're in that sort of black leathery look material. But these ones just have a cutout front and a cut out back so they've got a peep toe and a peep heel is that what it's called <laughs> peep toe and a peep heel yeah and I absolutely love the sort of zip effect it has on the front I think that adds a nice little touch these were 18 pounds which I don't know if that's a lot for Primark shoes but for a pair of shoes that's really good especially in this sort of style so I'm really happy with them and I can't wait to wear them <sighs> I really want some food so that is everything that I got from Primark I know it's not the biggest haul ever, but I still thought I would show you guys what I got because it's kind of appropriate for the upcoming months, kind of. Even though we're still in February, so it's really not spring yet, but yeah. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you'd like to see a collective spring haul from a selection of other shops as well because I've already got a few bits and I'm sure I'm going to be doing some more shopping over the next couple of months. So let me know if you'd like to see a try on collective clothing haul for spring. I'm going to go now, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!